Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me today to unlock exponential growth through referral programs. And if everyone is ready, let's start. So my name is Asya and I'm a senior product manager at WISE. I am responsible for accelerating organic growth through word of mouth recommendations, owning more than 70% of new users each month. In my previous experience, I was leading ad tech startups from MVP to scaling stage at Yandex, one of the largest word search engine companies. And before that, I played a key role at leading several fintech startups for the UK and US market. So why we speak about growth today? Achieving growth is one of the key goals of any product manager today. No matter what you own, small feature, the whole product, operations, infrastructure, you constantly ask the question how what you do is bringing more customers or more profit. So today I will show you what role growth plays in product success. Then I will share with you the best practices how to approach growth through recommendations. Then I will show you the vital role referrals are playing in a healthy growth model. And then we will learn how to build an ideal referral program. So first, let's talk about WISE. Originally founded as TransferWISE to make money movement between countries cheap and fast. Now WISE is offering full international account, allowing you to manage, transfer, spend, invest money in any currency at market rates. To reflect our growth, we were rebranded from TransferWISE to WISE. So WISE is one of the companies that is known for its phenomenal growth that was achieved through word of mouth recommendations. For example, just in 2023, we get 4.5 million new customers. 3 million came through recommendations. Incredible, right? This is a dream come true for any company out there. So today I want to share with you some strategies used to achieve that. First, and this is what our founders and CPO talk a lot, great products drive word of mouth. If you gave your customer 10x experience to what they had before, they will for sure recommend your product. While it's true, a poor product or low retention can't be saved by any growth strategy. A great product alone isn't a solution to everything. Nowadays, there are many, many great products that fail. In the times when competition is higher and higher every day, Poor growth and user acquisition is one of the main reasons why products fail. For example, let's look at Snapchat. They had a great product, quite revolutionary for their time. They lost at a growth war to Instagram. Or let's look at Facebook. They had a great product for their time and they had already quite good growth but they achieved exponential growth and got to a giant they are today only when growth team started to work on the product. So nowadays, great product alone does not ensure success anymore. Building a sustainable growth model is essential for your long-term success. When working with growth, the first fundamental that you need to understand that growth should not be approached as a funnel. So how funnel works? You acquire customer and then you push them along the funnel. To grow, you constantly need to push more and more customers into the funnel. Basically, eventually your marketing budget will skyrocket and you will be in an acquisition war with your competitors because your growth is always will be limited to the funnel. But if you approach growth as a loop, it changes everything. Customers inviting more customers that would invite even more customers, creating a loop that becomes bigger and bigger with each cycle. You acquire one customer, they bring you two. That brings you four, that brings you 16. This is how exponential growth is achieved. 
instead of counting conversions in a funnel from one step to another, you need to focus on building a loop that will grow bigger and bigger with each cycle. From that becomes very obvious that people recommending your product is the key element to achieve exponential growth. Successful recommendations are built on three key categories. Organic and altruistic recommendations, network effects, and incentivized recommendations. So let's talk about them a bit more. Altruistic recommendations is when people just talk about your product because they like it. This is where having a great product really help. Then organic recommendations is when people notify other people about the product just by using it. So for example, you are not a Spotify user, but your friend shares a song with you from Spotify. Or you are not a WISE user, but your friend transfers you money through WISE and you receive a notification. That way, you get to know about the product and you know your friends prefer to use it. And the magic here, there were no marketing budget spent on that. Then comes network effects. is when you invite other people to the product just to enjoy benefits of using it together. The easiest example is social media. The more people join, the more beneficial it's for everyone. Or you start to use PayPal because people you transact with are using PayPal and, in, and it makes sending money to each other easier. Or you start to use Bonzo or Revolut to split restaurant bills with your friends. And after comes incentivized recommendations that known as referral programs. It when you give your customers a reward or discount or exclusive benefit to encourage them to actively invite friends into your product. So we learn that growth is a loop that mainly driven by recommendation. So there is no surprise here that recommendation is also a loop. All these three key categories need to be constantly linked together and function as interconnected loop that grows with each cycle. Let's have an example. Imaginary Spotify. You're still not a Spotify user. Organic recommendation happens. Your friend shares with you a song from Spotify. You like his taste in music? You decide to join Spotify to check it out. When you join, you start to experience network effects together, following each other's playlists, adding each other's songs. At this point, we incentivize you with referral program to invite more friends. Of course, you're, of course, you already love the product. You already love to use it with friends, so you will invite more friends. They will start to share songs on social media, creating organic recommendations and bringing even more friends. All together, you start to experience network effects of exploring each other's music taste, also following playlists and adding songs. At this point, we again incentivize you with referrals to invite more friends and the loop grows. So what we can see there, that recommendations are very interconnected loop that grows with every cycle. And this growth is fueled by referrals. So referrals is actually what fueling your growth and making a loop bigger. And in a healthy product, referrals and word of mouth should be your main acquisition channels. So most of the products that you use today will have a referral program. It probably will be abandoned, hidden under account, never optimized for its full potential. A good referral system in an early stage product will bring you 40 to 50% of users. In later stages, 20 to 30%. So if now your numbers are lower, there is a very clear opportunity for you to grow. So how to build a referral program? There is no surprise here, but referral also function as a loop. So let's have an example. Your customers love your product. You incentivize them to invite more friends. They invite friends, they receive a reward for that. 
They feel appreciated and rewarded for their advocacy. They are much more likely to invite more friends. The loop grows. Their friends that got invited receive, a recomm uh, receive an incentive to adopt the product. They love the whole recommendation experience. They love having a discount to try the product out. They will for sure are much, much more likely to recommend product to another people and use referrals for that. Loop grows. We see that referrals function as a loop, growing with every cycle, bringing more and more people in. And the growth of the loop is powered by incentive. So there are four simple questions to craft an ideal referral program. And the first one is who are my target customers? So people invite look-alike people, meaning that you always need to target only the customers you want to grow. Having one referral program for everyone will just simply incentivize low-intent users, bringing you even more low-intent users. So you always need to target with referrals your target customers. Then you need to find out why they're recommending your product and for what, and this would define an incentive. The key thing to understand here is that you actually have two, customers, two customer groups, people who recommend your product and people who receive a recommendation. Both of these customer groups have a different goals, meaning that they would have a different incentive. The best approach here is to run customer interviews with them to clearly understand their motivation and choose the right incentive. So first, identify what motivates them to recommend your product and what would be the right incentive for them. In general, the most effective way is cash, which is also fair. They will bring you more new customers that would generate your revenue. Your uh, you share the part of this revenue with them. Also, you can consider in-product discounts. That would work the best for premium products where cash is no longer motivation. Then, the second group is people who receive a recommendation. Find out for what action they were recommended your product and give them an incentive exactly on this action. So, for example, in Whites, we found out that people were recommended Whites for travel. And we built a referral program that gave them a free travel card on sign up. As a result, our growth in this region skyrocketed by 50%. And the last question is when do they recommend my product? Always prompt recommendations at the right moment. The best practices to do here is to do it in the first 14 days and after user experience your core product. For example, in e-commerce, it's the first order. For WISE, it's when the customer made the first transfer with us. Another best practice is to give them a clear direction for recommendation. For example, for the example that I used before with recommend advice for travel, instead of just saying, hey, invite friends or hey, recommend advice, we say, are your friends are about to travel? Recommend advice. This will give them the direct, uh, the direct path for the recommendation and that improves conversion greatly. And then the last thing we already talked about it, but remember that recommendations are interconnected loop, meaning that you always need to leverage your network effects and organic shares with referrals. So for example, your friend sends you transfer via wise, you receive a notification. We add to this notification and invite to try wise for free. That way, we maximize the positive effect of organic recommendation by adding referrals to it. Because remember, referrals are the ones who fuel to make the growth bigger. It's that simple. It's four questions. It's just a sample of customer interviews. You will easily find answers and your ideal referral program is there. So, by wrapping up, let's think together how what we learn can bring you an impact already tomorrow. First, 
Growth and recommendations should be built as a loop and referrals are the key element to fuel this growth. To build the right referral program, you need to always focus on target customers, choose the right incentive for them and prompt them to recommend at the right moment. But seriously, what impact you can literally go and deliver tomorrow? First, if you don't have a referral program, just build one. Trust me on that. Then, if you have one, and probably you do, first check who are you targeting. If you're targeting everyone, just stop targeting low intent customers at least. It would bring you impact. Or check an incentive. Ensure that it's valuable exactly for your target customers. Then always prompt to refer after core action in the first 14 days. And the rest, check your messaging. Check that it gives a clear direction for recommendation. So for example, you know that the primary motivation of your customers is actually to help your friends save money. So instead of simple, hey, invite friends, use the messaging, help your friends to save money. That's it. It's 10 minutes of engineering time. It can be done tomorrow and it will boost your conversion for sure. So that's it. Thank you for joining me today. First, do not hesitate me to follow on LinkedIn, reach out, share your feedback, share what you try, what worked or didn't. I really love to speak about growth, so I can't wait to hear from you. And then, yeah, thank you for your time and really look forward to hear from you all. Have a good day.